Hey guys, yes, I am wearing the same outfit. I'm filming three, or is it four, videos in the marathon session because it's the only way I get around to it. So today's video is, this is all of my, well nearly all, I've probably forgotten a couple, all of my drugstore products and um, things that I buy over and over again. And I don't buy them because they're cheap. I buy them because they're like my favorite. And that's great because a lot of us on here show expensive things all the time and it's not attainable or relatable to loads of people. I totally get that. So I mentioned in an Instagram live or something like that, like, should I share my favorite drugstore or affordable products? And oh my God, I had so many, I had more private messages and comments about that than like, hey guys, I've got a new Chanel bag. Like it, a lot of people find that interesting. So I'm gonna tip this out on the bed next to me and show you the things that I love, that I found, that are like real gems. And there might be a couple of things that I don't have at the moment, like my scrub, I ran out of it yesterday and I should have saved the packet to show you, but I'm an idiot. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna tip this out and I hope all the lids are on because some of them are a haul that I did to show you. And some of them are that I've collected up around the house. <clears throat> okay, so what categories? Uh, for example, I'm not gonna share that with you because it's my kid's toothpaste. Right, okay, so let's do bathroom stuff first. Hair. <laughs> I have two, really. Uh, I use high-end shampoo, conditioner, styling stuff from my, the salon, and it's Davin's, or Davines, which is an Italian brand, and it's all organic and got no irritating things in it. I've got a really, really hypersensitive scalp where I can feel like I'm getting head lice or something and I'm itchy, not so much dandruffy, a little bit dry, but I just get like a really dry inflamed scalp. So I do use those expensive things, but I don't like to use them all the time. I feel like if I use the same stuff on my hair all the time, my hair kind of, not gets lazy, but I, my hair gets used to it and then my hair starts to get lanky. It's good to switch it up. So if I am gonna do the cheap and cheerful option, the, br the brand that I found, and the version that I found that doesn't, it makes my hair lovely and soft, but not weighed down and is kind to my scalp is this Garnier Ultimate Blends. And I like the Delicate Soother. So this is the um, conditioner. And I also have the shampoo, but it's in the shower at the moment. And it's the oat kind of one. So it's, um, I don't know why, but it, oats and all that Aveeno stuff. There's something very soothing and anti-inflammatory about oats. It says it soothes scalp, nourishes, softens and protects hair for fragile hair and sensitive scalp. So Martha has the same type of scalp as me. So I use this on me and Martha and it just smells really nice and it doesn't, it's not so rich that it weighs your hair down. And the thing about a lot of these products is they do have like a retail price, but you very often don't have to pay that. So when I bought this one, um, it was like a three for two or something, or in my Tesco's, it'll be like buy the shampoo, get the conditioner free. So it's only a couple of quid and it's really, really nice. And my other hair drugstore favorite is Elnet. I buy designer, well, they do, the Davins do a really lovely hairspray that smells like a beach holiday in the Caribbean or something. And I love the smell. It smells like a Malibu, almost like coconutty or pina coladery but the nozzle always jams when I get about halfway through a can and it's like 20 quid a can. What I really like is um, Elnet and uh, I get all different ones, but this is the flexible hold or, or something like that. And I like the little ones because I can take it out with me in my bag. We all know I get patches of hair loss um, when I get my anxiety and my stress flare um, on the back of my neck. And then here you see where it's kind of fuzzy. And then what happens is I get a bit of hair loss and then I, um, kind of get really stressed and then I worry it and like twist it and stuff. So sometimes I need hairspray when I style that to kind of cover um, and then I need hairspray and I need to take it out with me. Um, so this is just the best hairspray. It is like really strong hold, but it doesn't make your hair all crunchy. So it's really cheap. Um, okay, on to body now. This is my favorite shower gel ever. Sometimes I do kind of have a weak moment and I'll buy a really expensive shower oil. I love the Glossier shower oil and other things like that. But especially now that I'm exercising all the time, I, I feel so squeaky clean when I use Sanex. And I use the very dry skin one because I'm so lazy with like body moisturising and all of that stuff. And it really does smell so lush. And also my family cane all these things in the bathroom. They're not... Martha in particular will be in there for hours and they just use a large amount. So if we put like a molten brown shower gel in there, it just goes like in a week. 
whereas this is humongous what is it 500 mils and uh yeah i don't care if they waste it because often it's like two pounds or something right another body thing there's a few body things mitchum powder fresh 48 hour deodorant either in the rollerball or this stick or they even do a cream i know i'm a big promoter of the natural deodorants and that is what i use most of the time but when you are in a situation where you really need to not be sweaty i i'm wearing a silk blouse on a boiling hot day or i'm at a wedding or an event where you're stood around and it's roasting hot sometimes you need proper antiperspirant and this is my favorite and um it's like three pounds um okay a couple more body things oh my god i love this so much i think gem gem R taught me told me about this and it is the dove nourishing secrets body lotion spray and at first I thought this was like a gimmick and I thought actually you know what I have a bit of a phobic thing about splodging lotion onto myself and then trying to spread it and it's all between your fingers and in your jewellery and I just sometimes it gives me the ick and that sounds nuts but I like the way that you can spray this and then just like work it in a little bit it's coconutty it's very light but it's a pleasure to use so it's next to the shower and I do put this on every time and because it's a spray I apply it like everywhere whereas if you have lotion I used to just put it on my legs and then kind of go sort of thing um it's 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 a bit more than it's about six pounds so it's a not at the super cheap end of like these products but I like it and the other thing is I there are a few brands that bought these out there was a Novino one that I tried this one, I love the coconut smell, especially for summer. And the nozzle works all the way down to the end of the can. This is like my third or fourth one and it's never failed. And it says it's fast absorbing and non-greasy and that is true. If you've got really seriously dry shins like I get, where when I put fake tan on, I can see brown sitting in the dry areas. I sometimes need to put something like at night, I've got a tub of that bum bum cream and I'll work that into my legs and all around my feet and stuff at night. But for everywhere else this is and also I'm showering loads more now because I'm going to the gym it's like I had two showers today already and it's like six o'clock because I got up and had a shower so I felt awake and fresh and then I went to the gym and did some and worked out and stuff and came home and had another shower so I need to moisturize otherwise it just all that water just strips your skin these are the razors that I use I do use an epilator for my legs because they feel smoother and it lasts longer um, but for everywhere, like for under my arm area, or if I don't have that and I need to shave my legs on holiday, I use the Gillette Venus Swirl and um, I just bought some more blades because I've run out. And this is the one that I found that's the most like non-drying and it's got all this gel around it. So it's not irritating. So yeah, I've been using the same one for like two years and just, these are all things I just buy over and over again. And that's why they're in the video. Really nice. Okay, this is an important one. We're still on body. Okay, this is the only Avon product that I buy regularly. I just feel like there are, there are, I just don't really feel like that drawn to any of their products. I know someone who does Avon and I've looked at the makeup and stuff, but I've got my makeup collection quite tight now and I know what brands I really enjoy and stuff like that. And so um, I've tried a few things like the sunscreen and I wasn't that impressed, but this is amazing. So I will keep buying it. I think it is a cult product. This is the Skin So Soft Dry Oil Spray. So I do love my coconut one. But what I specifically buy this for is when we go on holiday where there are like mosquitoes or any kind of bitey insects like midges and things, because it is a dry oil that moisturizes, but it also seems to have something in it that um, deters insects. And it's about two quid a bottle. So I've got several of these in backup and I will spray these on the kids on their like necklines um, if they've, you know, whatever length top they've got, uh, if their arms are out and especially around your ankles, which is where you tend to get if you're eating outside at night in a hot country or something, it really works. I don't know what's in here and it smells quite nice. So I'll always have this Avon Skin So Soft spray. Okay, I think this is the last two body things. These, oh my God, they're open. That's why it smells so strong. These are Dr. Salt Therapeutic bath salts now these ones i i only bought the uh, the eucalyptus because i couldn't get the plain ones that time they do plain they do lavender ones for sleep <coughs> i just got into these when i had a long-term health problem where i was just achy and sore all the time and for some reason lying in a bath like this just took 
my stress and all of that down and inflammation not with eucalyptus in at that time um i had bladder long-term bladder disease so i had to have everything unscented um but now these have been really good for post exercise you know it's getting better now but when i first started i was like hobbling around all the time because i was always achy from the workout that i did the day before um and they're just yeah if you're tired they just and they're detoxing re-energizing and they're about four or five quid a big bag and you get several baths out of that. So I like them, Martha likes them, Ed likes them. We all use these. So this is like my hundredth bag of Dr. Salt's bar salts. I love a cheap body polisher and I change them all the time. I've got different ones to match the hand towels. And at the moment we've got, we're waiting to do our bathroom up, but just to brighten it up temporarily, we've bought this color matte towel shower curtain so i got this and they're like two quid and i buy a new one every i think they they harbor a lot of bacteria somebody said to me so we throw them out like every month or so or six weeks and just buy a new one and that's something i'll always back from the drugstore okay now before i do makeup i've just got one more thing and that is this and this is quite expensive for a drugstore product but it's something i pick up in boots or super drug depending on who's got it on offer and that's my op Trex Acti Mist. I do use eye drops as well and I need them specifically for managing my contact lens use because I have chronic and actually if I'm honest moderate to severe I've now been told dry eye and there's nothing you can do about it you know a lot of the ducts along there are like blocked and I have to use hot towel every day but it doesn't really improve it and so I have to use special drops to put before I put my contacts in and especially to get them out my eyes so dry that they get stuck to my eyeball so I have to lubricate my eye to get the contact lens out but I find for this time of year with the hay fever for tired eyes they do two versions they do um this is dry and tired but they also do itchy and watery I, only if I've got a cold really do I get what I'd call watery eyes like in the you know, if you walk the dogs in the depth of winter and just going out in the cold makes your eyes and your nose run. But more of the time, my eyes are dry and tired. And what's great about this is, especially if you're someone who doesn't like putting things in your eye, I don't know how it works, but you spray it on the outside of your eye, with your eye closed. And then when you blink, the product that was sitting in the lashes and around your eye gradually works its way in and lubricates the eye and it is about 15 pounds because I think they've cornered the market they're the only people that make a spray that you moisturize the inside of your eye by spraying it on the outside which sounds nuts um but this was on offer and they were 11 pounds they were like four pounds off so I bought two one to put away and this one to start using I don't understand how it works yeah look you spray it on the outside and it goes it doesn't soak in through your eyelid it goes I think from you blinking uh it stabilizes the natural lipid layer of your eyes tear film. But it's an amazing product. And again, it's one of these things that I just buy over and over again from the drugstore. Right, makeup. I've got a confession to make, which is that over the years, I have, I was really surprised. These were the only drugstore makeup items I could find in my collection. So the only kind of non high-end brushes that I have are Real Techniques don't like all of them and I really think that the packaging the the handles and everything are really a lot of them are quite naff but this is just to show you this is my new one this is the concealer brush I wanted to give it a try but I have loads of them in, in I'm looking over there at my brushes they do all different like limited edition ones they're all man-made so if you don't if you're like a vegan and you don't use like real hair brushes and stuff this is one of those precious metal ones some of them are great, some of them are not so great. I mean, I absolutely love the stippling brush. So good. So yeah, um, that's something I pick up from drugstores and they're really inexpensive, but they're really good. Like this was seven pounds, I think. Whereas the same sort of thing from Mac would be about 25 pounds and up. Um, and then my favorite blush, probably of all time is a drugstore brand, but not from, you can't get it in the UK in a drugstore. I get this from Amazon, so I'm kind of including it for that. And it's the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which is this lovely peachy kind of corally shade. It's very soft. And this is my third or fourth one. The packaging is a bit drugstore and a bit naff. You get a little brush back there, but I've never used it. You do get a mirror. 
it's just so flattering and it gives a lit from within glow i've got it on now it gives a real glow and you just look so healthy and i think this color suits everybody this color looks great on dark skin it really shows but it, and it looks great on light skin and i think this was about nine or ten pounds it's just such a lovely blush as i said the rest of it if it's going to be drugstore makeup that i like it's 90 percent going to be maybelline there are a couple of other things that i do like i love the um concealer that they do the under eye by by under eye or whatever it's called with the sponge tip but i just don't have one at the minute because i i bought that back to back a few times and then i decided to try the charlotte tilbury one with the sponge so i bought that instead this time round i love drugstore brow products i think that's one area when you don't really need to spend the money i don't think that the anastasia brow wiz or my brow pencils from benefit are that much better than the cheaper options so some that i've really enjoyed are the um total temptation brow definer i definitely like a brow product where you've got your pencil and then you've got a spoolie on the other end and you can just do everything in one um and then this one is the maybelline brow satin where you've got a brow powder on one end i don't even know if they make that anymore i've had this for ages and a pencil on the other end and these are always fairly inexpensive my favorite or my only really favorite rimmel product i do really like the scandalize line of liners and this color in particular i've never found anything spot on taupe eyeliner from high end or anyone else this is taupe 004 and sometimes when you're doing a real soft girly makeup look and you want to define your eyes but you don't want it to look dark i just love this taupe brow pencil it doesn't budge it's creamy and it was about three pounds this is my fifth or sixth one i hope they still are making it i love this and it's so cheap it's so rare to find something really cheap that is really great and then the last two things are eye products i have bought this so many times and the reason i buy this is because i don't wear um it's called the eye studio lasting drama gel eyeliner 24 hours i don't wear a gel eyeliner you can see there very often so i'm not going to buy the laura mercier one or the bobby brown ones because i spend like 20 pounds on it and then i might do it like three or four times a year so i have bought this a few times and then when it when it feels a bit dry i chuck it out and i don't mind buying it again it comes with a brush and it's about 8.99 for the set so i really like that this i've probably had a bit too long it says 12 months i've definitely had it longer than 12 months and then probably the best other than the milani the best drugstore makeup thing of life ever is the um maybelline color tattoo 24 hour um eyeshadow cream in on and on bronze um, and in America, I think it's called Bad to the Bronze. It's just a lovely colour and it's a lovely formula and it is really long wearing. Mine's a bit old and dry. I probably need to get it again. But I have got everybody, including my next door neighbour, to buy this. It's just really lovely. It's just as nice as the um, like Charlotte Tilbury ones, to be honest. It's really good. If I'm going on holiday, sometimes I'll just take this. Because it seems to like stay on even when I go swimming and stuff. So I think... That is all of it. Those are the real favourite drugstore products that I buy over and over again. And obviously we have family favourites, like uh, they have other shampoo. My husband and my daughter love Head & Shoulders. I don't really use it, apart from the Supreme, the Claudia Winkleman one, but it does irritate my scalp. It does make my hair very shiny, but it does irritate my scalp if I use it too often. And like certain tooth, I like the Oral-B, I forgot to mention that, the Oral-B toothpaste that's gritty. It's like a scrub for your teeth. And then the only other thing apart from that toothpaste that I didn't show because I've run out is I love the um, coffee, I can't remember the brand, but the coffee body scrub you can get in Boots and it's made from coffee grounds and it's infused with coconut. It is a bit of a mess because it's in the packet, but I tend to empty it out into a jar and then use it from the jar and you dampen your skin and you rub it all over and it is a really good thorough scrub, it's great pre-tan sort of scrub. So those are my drugstore favourites. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one, which is a what's in my bag. Bye, guys.